All right. Over the Greenwood Redevelopment Commission on this the 14th day of December 2021. And I have a roll call, please. Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Harris? Present. Mr. Mr. Hoover. Here. Mr. Moe. Here. Mr. Hoffman. Right, present. And I'm going to advise Mr. Adam Thank you. Uh, for the record, Mr. Campbell is attending with us virtually today. Uh, is there a motion to approve our minutes from our November meeting? A motion. Second. Second by Mr. Hoover. Any discussion, additions, deletions? Call, please. Mr. Harris? Hey. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Mr. Miller? Aye. Mr. Campbell? Aye. All right. Minutes are approved 5 0. New business consideration of PSA with Hanson Engineering. Good afternoon. Um, here, here tonight to present a scope of services for Hanson Engineering to pursue land release process with the FAA with regards to approximately 3.2 acres located on the north end of the Greenwood Municipal Airport. This location is within the airport parkway allocation area and there's preliminary conversations about reuse of this land now since the main the old original terminal some of the original open hangars have been demolished uh, the fencing work and everything was done years ago all of that was paid from the tax credit finance revenues this potential project uh, is an amount not to exceed twenty thousand dollars there's an existing contract with Hanson engineering Already with the city of Greenwood, so this is purely a funding request. The airport parkway uh, allocation area would be the funding source um, that would be paying this. And ultimately, this would kick off a nine to 12 month process with the FAA to investigate the ability to sell these 3.2 acres to a, a new use. There's a variety of different opportunities. Uh, we had to bring this land back onto the tax roll. The immediate opportunity that's driving this uh, scope of work is the potential for a new restaurant uh, at that at that area, and uh, well, as part of a condition of sale and the condition of the purchase agreement, the FAA land release and the ability to close on the land next year is uh, a condition to to that land sale. So uh, the engineer from Hanson could not be here today, so. Uh, Greg and myself are presenting their their proposal to try to keep keep the project on track. I'll do my best to answer any questions. I'm not going to be able to really address too much of the technical scope, but with regards to the taxable entity opportunity as well as the timeline for the FAA land review release, I can certainly try to field questions on those matters. And uh, uh, to be more specific, and it's hard to uh, it's all parcelled together, but if you can see uh, this, uh, you can imagine a boundary that basically comes across this, this parcel line here over to the existing asphalt and then immediately north. That's approximately the 3.2 acres in total area that's, that's being uh, currently evaluated with a potential uh, restaurant location basically sitting at that southeast corner with points of entry and exit coming into potential wheat crack way and obviously county county line. Adam, is there something there now? I mean, I see the cemented parkway, but is there a building there now? No, it was demolished uh, in oh. 2014, something like that. Yeah, it was the old, it was the old original terminal hangar in, uh, in 2012 through 2014, uh, the Used to be an airport maintenance garage uh, there, oh, okay. right there, and then that was uh, 
the city took over that flat out that lease and then uh, demoed that building to fly all the while back. Okay. So part of the, the, the majority of this contract is this land was originally purchased by an airport improvement grant. So in order to release the land, it has to go through a very rigorous FAA land release and uh, replanning process, which is what this uh, scope would, would enable. Okay. So the first uh, first several months is going through the replanning of the north end to show the potential reuse for a business non-aviation use that has to go through all of the federal approvals and assuming it does we're targeting a September to December 2022 um, approval to where then the land could be actually sold off to a tax paying entity and uh, be new marketable property for the airport uh, parkway kit. So I have an aunt and uncle that live in Castle Rock, Colorado. So next time I'm out there, I'll have to stop in and kind of see what this place is about. Probably I share with you get ours built. So this will be the third location in the country. And I shared a few of the concept elevations in, in the status report. Um, and it's a local developer that, that has had success in other projects. This is a, a in-house proprietary brand for them. And there, there was a lot of just in conversations with them with some of the other projects they're building on Emerson. Uh, there were just a lot of crossovers to having a kitchen locally, et cetera. So um, we expect to have a, a purchase agreement executed by the end of this of this month, if not early next, and uh, with the many conditions, but one of which is the ability to to take title to the land. Well, I'll move for approval of the PSA with Hampton Engineer and the amount not to exceed twenty thousand. Second. <clears throat> Further discussion from the question. Mr. Hopper? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Mr. Moon? Aye. Mr. Harris? Aye. Mr. Campbell? Aye. Motion is approved by Zero. Thank you. Capital Project Report 523 South Madison Avenue Project Consideration of Contract for Services with Mass Yes, uh, this is uh, consideration work for subgrade, which is building up uh, with essentially uh, pack and gravel and dirt for paths uh, connecting the field house side, double with sidewalks to the rest of that development at 523 as well as to the north to the projects that have previously been completed. Um, and the total on this was uh, $49,280 to build these walks. This allows the field house to kind of serve as a central hub in that um, bigger 19 acre, uh, uh, often talked about, uh, as well as the current assets of uh, the city owns. Uh, but also the library and everything else that is, is down here. Uh, and uh, if we get uh, better pricing on this than the heater pricing we had in the field house, like going and getting some additional, additional pricing, uh, it would be payable to either the central or district.
Main Street and Meridian Street Streetscape Project. Consideration of contract for transfer of electrical service from overhead to underground. Yeah, if you guys are, uh, remember, uh, we're all the uh, turkey and previous holiday approved uh, agreement, the reimbursable agreement with Duke Energy um, to uh, actually, we've done two, one was at the middle school, this is at, uh, on Main Street. Um, and one thing we found as we've gone down with getting them to basically move or put underground their lines is that our traffic signal uh, that we put in a few years ago is just like everything currently is uh, fed uh, above ground. Uh, thankfully, during the Old City Park project, we had to get some power up a lot in Meridian, and it's actually you can kind of see a conduit there, so they'll be able to tie that box in before the work happens. So we'll still have traffic control when some of the overhead work, overhead um, lines go away or are removed, um, and then there'll be one another less wire at that intersection uh, that can be removed. So. This is for Midwestern Electric, who does um, a lot of electrical work in the area. They'll come out 4,550 and uh, set it up to uh, connect to the conduit that's stubbed a little ways away and uh, coordinate with Duke uh, to remove the existing service. Uh, and one other thing on this is that they, they have to provide a, a track for electricity. That $4,450. I think Daniel's not so busy on some of the other projects. Are you here? I saw them today at Smith Valley putting up a light bulb or something like that. <laughs> so. Now they, they are a pretty big electric concern in this area. So. Is there a motion to approve? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stare at you too. All right. Any further questions, comments from the commission? Yeah. Did you say that? Mr. Brown? Aye. Mr. Campbell? Aye. Mr. Harris? Aye. Mr. Hopper? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Motion approved five zero. Hope you guys have a good holiday. We look forward to seeing you next year. I voted for Mr. Harris in the store in Greenwood. Christmas lights, residential addition. So you all should too. If it's still up there, I don't know if today was the last day. He, uh, a man, he comes to work, both painting and decorating. We get paid well. So what's the competition <laughs> like? Is it pretty stiff? Yeah, sure. Are you you paid well. People, yeah. people are, are clearly inspired by this. <laughs> they, they think it's good. Do we know? Thanks, Gabby. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. Merry Christmas. All right. Uh, financial report. So included in our, our status of past was uh, you know, a, a link to the new monthly redevelopment commission financial report. There's the kind of traditional uh, monthly view, but then we've uh, been working with the finance department and their online transparency portal tool to make that to where it was automatically updated so that yourselves, citizens, council, um, Anyone else that's interested in, in TIF finances can, can go. So I just wanted to provide a brief demonstration of where that information can be found, both for the commission as well as anyone else who may be interested. Um, so now we get to the Greenwood webpage, finance department webpage, and then the finance transparency portal. By clicking on the view part through portal, it'll take you to um, this, this link. And uh, there's a Post of information out there, but the, the report that is specifically made for the Redevelopment Commission is this RDC annual report listed here. And this updates nightly and is linked to the accounting information system 
of the city of Greenwood. So this is real time data uh, throughout the year. And all of these views um, for the most part are a one-to-one -one replacement of what was in our static report previously, as well as a few other uh, new, new views of the data. So it, while it may look different, it's real time, it's 100% automated as well. Um, and it updates and it's available for you whenever you, you may, may have it. So um, we went through and just created a variety of different state bookmark views. You can think of these as different kind of frequently asked questions or different queries of the data. So the default view is the property tax collections year to date by TIF. Um, so while we're in mid-December, we've yet to receive the, um, the fall TIF settlement from the county auditor's office. So you'll see that increase year to date quite a bit here over the next few weeks. Um, and just a quick demonstration of how this will work. Let's say you're very interested in maybe the central TIF and then how it's trended over the last few years. You can go through, oops, you can go through and look at, um, you know, one fund in particular and see, see those trends both visually and then more of a tabular fashion uh, down below. Um, you, can, you can pull this information down, you know, in a variety of different ways, uh, either spreadsheet or image. And then again, there's a variety of different images. So we just went through our normal staff report and tried to recreate those same views. Historically, we've only ever had the year-to-date snapshot. Now you have the ability to compare, you know, interest term, for example, over the last three or four years. Uh, grant revenues are tracked separately. All of the revenues by fund, by type, uh, by are all, are all on there. Uh, and then we broke out debt service in aggregate by, uh, by TIF district. Uh, there's many more views that, that could be made. And all, all we would ask is if there's anything that you or constituent uh, would like to see, these are, um, we can add these to this report and there's just auto, auto updating uh, in, in the background. So uh, more to be done on this. The next couple steps are we wanna do more of this kind of storyboard aspect to it. We'd like to add in the capital improvement plan, the financial plans for the areas are really key. Um, so this is step one, but wanted to come provide a, a demonstration. So going forward, this will be the report format. I'll share, make sure the link is shared each time our status report, but this will save, uh, save time. It'll also make it just the data more accessible uh, for you all. So that's all I have. I'm happy to take any questions on, on the monthly financial report. Questions for anyone? Thank you very much. Thank you. From the Corporation Council. Nothing further. Right. Mr. Watson. Yeah. Nothing further. That's right. Um, Mr. Johnston. You don't be live. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried when you were in the second row. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I don't want to get into complex. <laughs> you know? Good afternoon, Daniel Johnson, the city engineer. Uh, here with one item for Worcester Road, Section 3, that being a consideration of a number of uh, chain orders. My understanding right now, speaking with our uh, inspector, uh, well, I'm bringing before you uh, five change orders. Uh, there are approximately 15 or 16 overall change orders on the project. A lot of them are just kind of wrapping up or going through the documentation process uh, for a lot of these. Uh, some of them are going to be, or the majority of them are financially related, uh, only a handful of like time related. Uh, uh, I'm going to find out what that ballpark number is for all of them in terms of the financial side, but for these five, uh, that's what I have for you. So, quick little step, a refresher. So, the project did in November of 2019, uh, just a little over $9.2 million was the money a little bit that uh, Reef Rally as a contractor. And you know, they've been uh, working since then and just opened the traffic. A couple of weeks ago, right before uh, Thanksgiving. So, five of the, prop, uh, the change orders that uh, we're working on here, and these are all 
All five of these are cost adjustments. None of these are time adjustments. Uh, I guess a quick overview there. Uh, the, the overall amount for all five of these is uh, just a little bit over $105,000. Uh, hopefully you can read the, the font there on the screen. Uh, the number two, decorative lighting and pedestrian lighting. Uh, a little over uh, 60,000. Um, if you want, I can just kind of overview and, and if you have questions about specific ones, I, I'm prepared to talk about those in detail if you'd like. Sub grade treatment, uh, 12,000. Temporary paper markings, 1,600. Uh, having to accommodate and perpetuate an existing drainage tile, that was 29,000. And then a, a special light bulb. Uh, to open, uh, to avoid overhead conflict, that one was uh, two thousand dollars, or a little over two thousand dollars. So, the subtotal of all of these one hundred five thousand eight hundred four dollars and forty six cents, so approximately one point one uh, percent of the overall uh, construction contract. Uh, when the RDC approved uh, the the local share. Funding for, I guess, that made the commitment to the local share for construction as well as inspection it was an additional uh, 10%, uh, just for contingency uh, for such a large project. So, uh, my request uh, before you is that you would approve these change orders uh, for Worcestershire Road Section 3 and uh, authorize the mayor, the deputy mayor, and mayor or deputy mayor, uh, and myself to sign a documentation. And also, due to the cumulative value, um, we could waive the two meeting rule since it is over $100,000, uh, but this is a active and ongoing. That's what you actually requested. If you have any questions, first of all, I'll move to waive two meeting rules. Second. <clears throat> Mr. Mo, Mr. Turner, Mr. Sick, Mr. Mo. Any questions about that? I have a point of order. Could you take them individually and vote on them without waiving that two meeting rule? But even at the same time, this is within the original budget, right? Right. That we originally approved. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so still within that. I, I personally don't think that that wires a waiver. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want to, you know, belt suspenders, all that, that's fine. <laughs> Easier than we just don't have motion. Take a quick roll call just so we have it on record. Don't be fine. Mr. Campbell. Aye. Mr. Harris. Aye. Mr. Hopper. Aye. Mr. Hoover. Aye. Mr. Hopper. Aye. All right. So, out of an abundance of caution, it is five zero. All right. That's a curtain that Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we want to make sure everything's above board. Is there a motion to approve? I'll move to approve the change orders as submitted. Second. Second by me, let's get a roll. How about that? Any other questions for Daniel? What if, what's the other 11, 10 or 11? We know what those are going to be. Yet. I don't have that list, but I can get that information. We're off. Economically, we're all okay still, probably. Uh, yes. okay. Uh, certainly, they're, they're due to the fact of having to change the MOT, we closed the road, uh, which was different than the original plan. There could be some cost. Balancing, there were some deficiencies from the contractors that have you know, also some costs on the city's that have associated with that. So <laughs> we're going to be well through the contingency. Yes. Okay. Right. Any further questions? Here we go. Roll call. Mr. Harris. Aye. Mr. Hopper. Aye. Mr. Hoover. Aye. Mr. Mo. Aye. Mr. Campbell. Aye. Motion is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything from the mayor's office? Anybody? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, let's see. In the claims docket is in the amount of one million nineteen thousand twenty-three dollars and forty cents. Is there a motion to approve? Motion. Motion, Mr. Second. Second by Mr. Hoover. Any questions, comments? Any other questions? Mr. Hopper? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Mr. Mo? Aye. Mr. Campbell? Aye. Mr. Harris? Aye. 
motion was approved by us. Um, I saw on our packet, uh, at least online, and I have it here in front of me that there's a 2021 carryover, carryover for purchase orders. Do we need to approve that today? Yes, yes. Uh, did everybody see those? Uh, mostly it's people sitting at this base here who haven't cast their checks. I don't know what exactly. They do it just in case there's something that comes up and right. we have a special meeting in the next 10 days. I'm having a special meeting in the next 10 days, but you never know, I guess. Uh, and that's the amount of $2,450. Is there a motion to approve that? I'll make that motion. By Mr. Campbell, is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Actually, you know, why don't you let me make a second? My name's not on here, so. I'll withdraw my second. I make a second. We need a motion to withdraw your motion. Yeah, yeah. No, he's good. <laughs> Any questions from anyone? All right, roll call, please. Mr. Hoover. Aye. Mr. Mohn. Aye. Mr. Campbell. Aye. Mr. Harris. Aye. Mr. Hopper. Aye. Um, next up is our 2022 meeting dates. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Want to change a date? Like I did last year. <laughs> You probably don't know at this point that you want to change one, do you? Change the one that was a conflict. Which which one was that? Was the November meeting? It was falling off. Oh Thursday. yeah. Okay. Right. So now it's the third Tuesday. So. Yes. I'll move for approval of those days. Second. 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 I was just to make a Roll call, please. Mr. Moe? Aye. Mr. Campbell? Aye. Mr. Harris? Aye. Mr. Hopper? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Thank you. All right, next up, we have an appointment to the Greenwood Community Development Corporation. I think what the email says our current appointee would like to continue on in that show. Correct. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Everybody else is. Thanks. Second. All right. Yep. My motion, Mr. Second, or second by Mr. Hoover. Uh, any other questions, comments, concerns from anyone? Roll call, please. Mr. Campbell? Aye. Mr. Harris? Aye. Mr. Hopper? Aye. Mr. Hoover? Aye. Mr. Hopper? Aye. Thank you. Reappointed by a scoreboard black to zero. Uh, any other business from anybody out in the interwebs or in person today? All right. Hearing none, we will be adjourned. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Be safe.